after 18 years of doing charity work in Vietnam, the Vietnam Assistance for the Handicapped, VNAH, a non-profit organization based in Virginia, has given artificial limbs, wheelchairs, and vocational training to hundreds of thousands of Vietnamese disabled people. USAID has so far channeled nearly 6 million US dollars of aid to the disabled in Vietnam through VNAH. Behind the success of VNAH in bridging philanthropists with needy people in Vietnam is a group of Vietnamese Americans in Virginia. Chen Van Ka, who founded the fund in 1991, is one of them. The Washington Post and Reader's Digest have written about him and his work. Ka has left behind five of his Mexican-style fast-food restaurants and an eight-bedroom multi-million dollar house to come back to Vietnam for charitable activities. Welcome to Talk Vietnam. We have a very special guest with us today, Mr. Chen Van Ga. Thank you for being with us today. Welcome. Nice to be here. Thank you. Um, so tell me all about your, your work. How did it all begin for you? Well, we have to go back uh, to 1990 when I returned to Vietnam after 15 years in the U.S. Mm -hmm. to visit my uh, elderly father in uh, Quang Nam. And during that trip, uh, after 15 years in the U.S., uh, I saw the poverty, the grim condition uh, of Vietnam in general at the time, and children and people with disability uh, were de desperately in need of uh, artificial limb, prosthetics, rehab, service, and wheelchair. So I was very moved and went back to the U.S. and talked to the families and friends in the community. And we were so blessed that the American friend in Virginia and the Vietnamese friends uh, helped uh, me and my wife started the Vietnam system for the handicap. And did you meet up with any difficulties from the beginning? I know that it was a pretty hard time in the 1990s. The most uh, difficult thing is to try to raise funds and to generate support from the communities in uh, Virginia. How long would you say that it lasted until you really got things moving? During my first trip back and met with the uh, Minister of Molisa, the Ministry uh, of uh, Labor, Invalid and Social Affairs, mm -hmm. uh, I was very upfront and, uh, and share the wish that we want to reach out to the friends. And he were welcomed and, and very much uh, supportive of the idea. And, and that, uh, the beginning of the whole process, and I'm still doing this today. And it's, it's a really big program as well, so, I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed. How did you find the funding for this? After the first trip back to visit Vietnam and, and you know, very moved and really wanted to get something going, uh, we thought about maybe we provide some very small amount of assistance, and then that's it. But then uh, the Disabled Veteran of America, uh, DAV, uh, Disp Disabled American Veteran, and a big organization of the Veteran of America uh, came on board and helped us with some seed money. And then the U.S. government, through uh, the Leahy War, uh, War Victim uh, Fund um, by Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont, um, provided assistance ever since. So we are so grateful for um, the U.S. government, the people of uh, America, uh, help us with funding and support and the cooperation of the Vietnamese government. So we expand the program to this day. And from the beginning, uh, initially, you had to also take, I, I understand, fundings from, from your own pockets and also from the community that you um, were able to recruit. Was that, was that a really um, complicated process for you? Was it really hard convincing people that um, this was a necessary act and that you know, it, it was the right thing to do at that time? 
the beginning, uh, we, you know, out of pocket for uh, almost uh, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, I really wanted to, to do something, but then uh, other people and the U.S. government through USAID came on board. Um, so that's why we're here today. And uh, again, I thought it, uh, if we're going to do something on our own efforts, and that was this. That was the intention. We just wanted to help some veterans with disability that got wounded during the war and some children in the South. But we, don't, we didn't expect to be here that long. But uh, one thing led to another, and so many people came and helped us, and the, the welcoming and cooperation of the Vietnamese government. And indeed, the need is enormous in this area, so we're still here today. Exactly. And uh, I understand that it's uh, an ongoing process, and you would probably stay here for a very long time. And it's also something that's very cons time consuming. So, what did you have to give up in order to fulfill? Well, going back um, since 1998, when the, the U.S. government uh, provided funding, um, I had to give up my own business mm -hmm. and, and spend full time uh, going back between the U.S. and Vietnam to carry out this act activity. And it, it's, um, it's very uh, gratifying as we see all the impact and the uh, gradual uh, involvement of other people and the support that we receive from many people, different organizations. And, and then began in 1996, we thought that maybe we should play a role of being a bridge that um, inviting and fac facilitating and coordinating with overseas uh, individual and organization so we can multiply and expand the program. Mm -hmm. And and this effort is a beginning to take hold and we're still here today and we've been able to work with the Vietnamese uh, friend and organization here to bring in more Vietnamese Americans and other organizations to, to help us with our program. Mm -hmm. This is a long story and it's a true story. Mm -hmm. um, when I first arrived in America, um, with, with only a wife, with nothing, uh, on May 8, 1975, only a few days after the, the uh, arrived in the U.S., uh, mm -hmm. I work, started out to work as a janitor for a shopping mall, shopping center in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And after a few months, uh, I went on to work for a Mexican restaurant inside the mall. After learning the, how to cook and everything, uh, I became a, a store manager. Became a, a store manager and quickly uh, helped uh, bring in other friends uh, in the Vietnamese American community to help work and it's we expanded the the restaurant into uh, eight or nine locations and not knowing that with uh, all the work that we uh, uh, work at the uh, this restaurant uh, that where I learned the experience how to cook and all that and later on we went on to <coughs> to have our own business <coughs> 